you see we've now taken the rocker cover off this is why you should always before just starting an engine you should always look at the engine and work out what's going on great example here look at this as you can see that now if we would have started this that would have bent all them and you can see here it's a little bit loose here as well so the, all this has got to be adjusted and it's something that everyone should do you shouldn't just go ahead and just start a vehicle up because you know you feel that you need to start it my advice is look at the vehicle strip it down try and find out if there is any problems that are going to occur in the near future um, so obviously what we do is we're, we'll refit this and um, adjust these so they all fit correctly not, not, not like that and uh, then what we'll do is we'll fire it up and that's the best way of doing it obviously put brand new oil in but this is a great example I'm quite pleased that I'm able to show you this because you know a lot of people just would just try and crank the tractor over and start it which is personally the wrong thing to do right so obviously the next thing is now we've got to clean this all up and um, you, know, you know you've got all this rust in here as well look at all this look, it's absolutely caked in well it's actually old oil it's it's, it's a joke um, so you wouldn't want that in your engine so this is why you do it um, so right the next thing we're going to be doing is obviously cleaning this all up and then fitting it but you'll see us we'll have this tractor going very shortly as you can see the tappets now have been adjusted and we've refitted that one uh, we're going to now do a compression test so we're going to do that as the next thing to do is compression test and then we'll go from there what I've been doing is I've been slowly cleaning up the valves um, I'll give you an example Here's one here, um, it's quite nicely cleaned up, not too bad. Not finished yet, I'm going to really polish them up um, so they're really nice. At the moment I'm just using a little bit of wire wool just to clean them up, considering this is the condition they're in. There we are, that's the condition. Yeah, not very nice, but there we are. So what we're doing is we're slowly cleaning them up. As you can see, I've labelled them, blah, 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 as and when they come out the head. Um, so what we do is we'll polish this all up as well. But I'm just going to show you a little something. I apologise for a little bit of a delay there. Um, I just had a phone call. Right. Um, so there we are. So that's the head all being cleaned up. I'm just going to show you a little bit... Um, on what I'm doing and how I'm actually cleaning up the valves. It's a really simple task. Um, anyone can do it at home, um, as long as you have one of these. Okay, so you need one of them, one of these drill, one of these. That's what I'm putting it. So, let me just show you how it's done. So we we'll, we'll take this this one, this particular one, and what we do is you have to be careful. You don't want to damage. You don't. Well, you don't want to damage none of this. But what you do is just basically clamp that bit there. This this top bit. Here in in the drill, um, so that goes in the drill bit in the drill like that. Now this drill is not the best of drills. It's not smooth. It's a bit a bit whiny. You'll hear it in a minute. Um, okay, so that's clamped in, and then what we've got is a bit of wire wool. I have also a very fine bit of sandpaper, very fine. I'm actually using uh, 1200, so I'm using a bit of 1200 there. So it's nice and fine. Um, so that's what we've got there. Then what you do is switch it. I do apologise for the noise because it is quite noisy. This old, this old drill. And then all we do is just get this very nicely here. And there we go. Very gently. Obviously pulling, allowing some. This edge here, I'll, um, this edge here, you don't really want to be filing this down. This is something we'll do once we pull it in the head. So all we're doing is cleaning all the muck. It's a very simple task. It just takes a little bit of time, but you, you'll get there eventually.
there we go. As you can see, there's a bit of a close-up there um, of this, and I just want to finish off a few little bits. So let me just have put it back on again. As you can see, it's a very simple task. Anyone can do this at home. It, it, you've just got to take your time. No point rushing things. Eventually, what we do, like I said, we'll polish this up so it'll be nicely polished. And as you can see there. Now, I'll show you. Turn that off. I'll show you what this looks like. Not bad. Look at that. Beautiful. So, that's that's looking that's nice. That's good. So basically, what we'll do is. I'll polish this all up with a polisher and uh, that'll look really shiny when it's done. So this, this little tractor will be running beautiful. Just like a brand new tractor when I finished. So there we are. So that's how we're doing the valves. Um, so the next video I'll be cleaning up the head. As you can see the head's coming along. The valves have all been put in nicely. Um, I've put a little bit of oil just around on the valves. I like everything lubricated nicely. Um, as you can see, yep, so it's looking pretty good. It's all nice and cleaned up, shiny. The valve's all sitting lovely um, after we um, fitted them in. Um, as you can see, I'm now working on the studs, cleaning up the studs, making them nice and shiny, um, using the drill, which is a fantastic little tool for bits and pieces. Um, and all we do is just clean the studs up nicely. Nice and simple, um, and then basically they, they can then go in, and then we can start getting the head on, and then the big the big day is firing her up. So let's see what happens next. As you can see, the studs are now all in and cleaned and we're ready to put the head on. I do apologise for the noise, that is the heater 